So the hybrid dunk project came about when um, we got a uh, call and an email from a company, Oliver Moore Bespoke, out in Wide, out actually in Manhattan. Um, and uh, we talked to John Silverman, and um, I was the guy with the lead on the call at the time I was doing with marketing. So they wanted to do some cross-marketing and um, found out what they do. They do um, high-end dress shoes. They've been doing it since 1878. So with all the heritage involved, you know, putting two and two together, wow, we can get these guys, if we can get these guys to do reconstructed Nike Dunks, that would be cool. And we decided on the first couple of pairs that we'll do uh, a dress collection to you know, give an ode back to what they do and then keep the sneaker bottoms for what we do and it would be this hybrid um, collection. So the designs that we came up with cl were classic. I, w I love all the classics. I like the, the saddleback, um, which this is uh, based off of. And you have that side panel design. And they actually went in over the actual seam. So it's really clean. I like how they did that. We, we used dress, dress leathers and then alligator for the checks just to give a little hint of exotics. But you'll see more exotics featured in our next collection. Um, the next shoe was the Penny Loafer. And we, this is the Penny Loafer. It's really part two. Andre has the first one, which we featured. Um, a, a simple slot that a penny could actually go in and uh, this one we actually made it a little bit cleaner gave it a wider angled hole and um, a beef roll and then this one has a padded uh, check here what 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 happens in reconstruction is that you take the actual Nike apart so took it off its sole took the whole thing apart traced the shapes of each, each piece and then you um, cut your leathers and new material and then piece it back together um, and so you use the original soling you know just the styling of the padding and everything like that um, was you know kept uh, but everything about this shoe was reconstructed um, the whole inside is suede you know so you can go no socks if you want to um, it gives you it gives you a lot more options when you have the reconstruction versus you know painting I mean, most guys are airbrushing inside of shoes right now, but, you know, to to take, you know, a pattern and put it on the inside of the shoes, you know, gingham, whatever it is, that's all the access now, so. And then we have the cap toe, which was like the bonus pair. We, we are missing one pair that we're not showing. We beat it up for testing purposes. It's the wingtip. But um, this was the bonus pair that we added to the collection just because it was so different. It was off the mark, so we didn't use the original toe look for this one, but we kept the same dimensions and we actually, you know, have the little seam where it looks like it's like under there. So the cap toe has more of a military um, theme to it. You know, it's based off of the military boot. Um, so this one looks really great with like militant, you know, uh, varsity jackets. Uh, these these are actually some really versatile sneakers. So, you know, keeping the bottoms, you know, for the sneaker culture, and then dressing it up for the guys in suits. You know, it's like the best of both worlds. You'll see a lookbook um, featuring these for our back to school and kind of like end of summer.